Hey guys, I'm your girl Nikki. I'm your girl C. And this is Whiskey, Whiskey Ways. Ways. You know, we're whiskey enthusiasts. Mm-hmm. We're enjoying this journey of learning while we taste whiskey. And our palate. Yes, and we make cocktails. And obviously, when we're trying whiskeys with food, so today we're doing something different. Yes, we haven't done the charcuterie or no. charcuterie, as some people call oh, it. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I said it. Wow, charcuterie. Mm. The funny part is because mm. it became mm. so popular mm. on the internet, there's actually charcuterie boards on Amazon that say charcuterie. What? Yes. Some even have like a shark. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be on, look, there's a whole thing. I'll be on Amazon way too much. <laughs> yes. It's a wild thing. This one is a very simple charcuterie board. Came from Aldi. Well, it doesn't take much to make a charcuterie board. Right. You got meat, you crackers, whatever some else stuff, that you need. Some yeah. cheese. So, this one has olives and oh, some uh, dark chocolate covered cranberries. Oh. Craisins. I like, what dark. is that? Is it a nut? No, it a, it's craisins. Oh, I read the packaging this time. <laughs> <laughs> Some white cheddar, multi grain cracker. So we gonna see how this tastes. With right. What bottle are we featuring today? We day? are featuring Thomas. Say right, y'all. You did. Thomas, Thomas. S. Moore. Well, I was gonna ask. Yeah. By the way, this oh. is the education of the KSB. What does that mean? Kentucky straight bourbon. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that is simple. All right. KSB, short for Kentucky straight bourbon. Yes. Finished in um, pork cast. Pork cast this time. And it comes in at 98.9 proof. Yes. Which is it's all right. It's okay. Somewhere in the middle. Yes. Somewhere in the middle. Um, it's located in Bartstown, the yes. distillery, Bartstown, Kentucky. It is Barton, 1792 oh. Distillery is the oh. name of the distillery. Located in Bartstown. <laughs> Have right? you said that right? four times already? I know. I'm just making sure I'm saying the right thing sometimes. When I repeat myself, I'm like, is that what I'm saying is the right thing? <laughs> She don't cut it out anyways. <laughs> or I might not. Y'all just gonna see this repeat of the repeat of the repeat. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Barton Distillery. Yes. Right? Created or... <laughs> I was on Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. It was actually established in 1879. Oh, wait. So what's the 1792 about? That is... That has something to do with Barton, but they ain't got nothing to do with Thomas S. Moore. Okay. 1879. <laughs> we got it right. It's the oldest operating distillery in Bartstown, Kentucky. Yes. I'm not going to repeat it. Don't do that. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Anyhow, we're going to try this. We both actually tried this already. We fresh cracked it the night that I bought this. Yes, we did. Which is why we have the charcuterie, because I thought it would pair well with the charcuterie. I think that night we had it with some nachos. We did, because we was hungry, and we should have eaten while we were out. (laughs) Yes. Because we had passed 37 restaurants before we got back to my house, and then decided we were hungry. And there was nothing open. And everything was closed, because we live in the Northwest suburbs, and everything was closed by the time. <laughs> but luckily, we had extra She's nachos like, I at my house. ground beef here. Z took every ounce of jalapeno that I had I chopped sure up did. myself. I did. That I chopped up for two people. What? She what? Two took people? all of it. Oh. And then I had to re-chop it up. Oh. She was disrespectful that night. My bad. Disrespectful. At least and now I know. <laughs> Jalapenos. That you, you know, it's the hot 
Okay, it looked like it was for one even person. Leave, she didn't even leave me a tablespoon of work. It looked like it was for one person. Lie. I don't even need a little bit. I'm just a little tinge. It was a delicious jalapeno. I know you, but look, you bust them nachos down. Joe. Yes, I did. Mm-hmm. I was hungry. I okay. We was hungry that day. Yeah. Anyhow, we gonna try this. I have my phone out so I can try to get some extra tasty notes here. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? I can try to put it in the center if you like. We don't do tasting notes today. I mean, we already do tasting notes, I but know, it's like we, you know, try to get some more descriptive notes. Oh, maybe. Okay. Be okay. more specific with it. Yeah. Okay. Be specific. Be be specific instead of aggressive. If y'all was a cheerleader, you understood what I meant. All right. Y'all y'all understand? Okay. <laughs> It is not that sweet of a nose. No. <laughs> at all. I get like an almondy smell. I mean. Like an orgiat? I think it's called orgiat. Orgiat. <laughs> orgiat. Uh, right? Orgiat. 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 <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. We didn't use this liqueur in 12 different recipes. <laughs> uh, anyhow, yes, an arrosa almond. You know, if you don't know, Orgette is basically an almond liqueur. <laughs> or syrup. It's more of a syrup than a liqueur. Surprisingly, oh. it does come through on my nose. Yeah. Let's see. And it's supposed to be port fit, bro. I mean, because it gives me a little, it gives me like a little wine. I mean, I haven't had too many ports outside of Night Jar. Oh, from um, Cooper's Hawk, but I've also had a port wine from, what's that local wine? Linford. Linford Winery. Oh. The, there's and two, lovely- one in Roselle and there's one by me. Oh, yeah. I've never been. Oh, yeah. They have some pretty good wine. Mm. You can go one day. Yeah, after work. But yeah, it gives me like a little. I think that's actually a little tangerine. Okay, I'm looking at the notes here. Let's see. It gets sweeter the more I uh, nose it. Yeah. Like it's opening up or something. I don't know. All right, I'm going in. So it actually has like a cinnamon kick and gives me kind of like a red hot tingle in my mouth. It actually gives me more wine. Let's see. Not a sweet red because it's not like super sweet, but it's not like dry like a Melbeck, which is actually one of my favorite red wines. But, wow, um, really? Yeah, I like, like a Melbeck. Melbeck. I like a Melbeck. Ooh. I've come to like it. If I had to compare it to a <laughs> red, it would be some probably that Cab Zen from Cooper's Hawk. So it's a little dry, nice. a little sweet. Every Bordeaux's are dry too, but on the heavier side. So for it being a port, kind of reminds me of a mix between a port and a Bordeaux, like a. The sweetness from the port wine, the heaviness, and the like a, a little char to it on the finish for me. I think I'm getting a little, the nose already got a little tangerine. I think I'm still getting it on the palate. I don't and get a tangerine. little oiliness. Oily, yes. I don't get tangerine. It is. Well, that's because you don't have to get tangerine. I'm talking about I'm what just, I get. I'm not just saying I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I don't even say, I know about the Bordeaux. Nothing. I'm just saying I don't mm. get it. Mm-hmm. 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 What's this? What did I say? Oh, sulfur. What's that slurpy? <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> 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 sulfury. <laughs> uh. Nothing like that here. She almost made me choke on the liquor. That would have been very bad. <laughs> Please don't do that. Oh, man. 
I don't even know if y'all heard it, how she pronounced sulfury. <laughs> How do you pronounce it? What's the pronunciation? It's sulfury. Sulfury. But that's not what you said the first time. Sulfury? No, you said something else. Slurpy? I said, I, I said slur, I, I said I thought it was slurpy. And that's why sulfury. I said I don't know if they heard it. Just oh, that's, I said You have slurpy. to repeat it. <laughs> But who knows it almost died because of it. Anyhow, we're gonna try this with some <laughs> I'm interested in the olive and see. Alright, I'm gonna that. try it with some meat and some cheese and crack. With all the saltiness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Makes it sweeter. Brings out the wine in it. That feels really good. Mmm. Some good olives. The cheese makes it creamier. The meat, since it's a little salty, does make bring up a little bit more of the wine. Mm-hmm. It's like mm-hmm. a sweet wine right now. I can do you with it. Not bad. I'm not going to eat nothing with chocolate because, you know. <laughs> Why not, Nikki? We learned our lesson already. I'm going to try it. Y'all will see them episodes. I I mean, the craisins actually might help. Because mm-hmm. they're sweet. Sweet tart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. <laughs> Who knows? I still might try it. Yeah, Nikki. Do I'm going to be that person. <laughs> I guess. But yeah, since I think for this to be port finished, I had other port finished whiskeys, but this one seems to be more wine for it than other ones. Yes, it definitely That's why is. it kind of works out. I can see it going good with the, the New York Sour. Mm-hmm. As the float up top. Oh, because I was thinking that you were going to say as the base. And then just add in the wine. Well, you top. could flip it. Yeah, you could flip it. And still use a another port. Yeah, you know? a different like a port port on mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not, not bad, bad at all. Mm-hmm. It's a good, good whiskey. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't necessarily like Thomas S. More from what I've seen. They're like, why do they keep making this trash? But I, I like it. Plus, the price point is kind of up there. Ooh, I got some charm. Price point is up there, so you know you're gonna be up there. You yeah, at least I think need it's to about uh, deliver seventy dollars or something like that. Yes, depending on where you get it, it might be eighty at least in our area, but it's not above a hundred. So you got a bottle that looks distinguished. Point mm-hmm. price point is on the higher end of things. You know you want it to. Well, at this point, I would say it's at the medium end of things. It's on the higher end of things because we're poor. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> Let's be real. Whiskey be 150 well, 200, 250 For us. $300. The you most I paid. Pay. I mean, I paid a little bit above $100 for a bottle. It was delicious. I, was, well I, I, I spent above $100 on a bottle. Just a bottle. However. I've not gone to the 200 No, I'm just too poor. I'm too poor for I've, that. Not, okay. I've not gone there yet. Now, <laughs> y'all, maybe. share this with some people when we start getting paid from the YouTubes, okay, then maybe now. we will up our game. But mm-hmm. until then, no. <laughs> <laughs> until then, that's not happening, okay? But overall, I mean, I'm a good over here. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm not sure if I would, I mean, I could make a cocktail with this. I'm going to do it. But you got it, the chocolate, oh boy. Well, dark chocolate actually brings out the sweetness is what we had learned, so. Mm -hmm. It's dark chocolate crazy. I'm like, oh, of course not. Mm -hmm. (laughs) She went in for a second one. I'm like, oh my God. I coat the palate with it. I like this. And you know, if you're not a wine drinker, this could be your step into wine. Or if you are a wine drinker, it could be your step into whiskey. Depending on how you look at it. 
I drink both, so you know, it is what it is. Mm. Did it up the sweetness or bring mm. out the bitterness? It's the white chocolate that did not work. It up the sweetness. Mm -hmm. It actually tempered down the uh, peppery finish for me. So, it's actually, mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'll say, good. I don't know the difference between the two salamis on here, but the light skinned salami made it a little bit more charry, a little bit more bitter. Yes, that's why I was tasting the char. Mm hmm. I'm gonna grab a slice of cheese over here mm -hmm. and see what it tastes okay. like with this mixture. Let me grab one of these. Mm-hmm. My slice thin slimy, you know, just make it a little more mm -hmm. alcohol fork. But this little charcuterie board, ten dollars, Aldi. If you got an Aldi, shout out to you, Aldi. Or something like it. Mm-hmm. You can make your own. Oh, I yeah. was just lazy. I had, a whole, I had a whole picture in my mind. But also, I said no. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I, was like, also, I was like, I already got one ten dollars. Why should I do this to myself? <laughs> I do believe they have places that actually make them for delivery, too. There's actually a company that makes them. I know in different places they have them, but I haven't found one here yet. Mm. But I plan on going to like Trader Joe's, get like the little fancy little cheeses, maybe a little jewel, get the little thing. I feel like doing like none of that. Oh, yeah. But it'd be delicious. Yeah, that's true. But I didn't feel like doing any of that. This is good enough. Mm hmm. Get all the tasting notes you want right here. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe, you know, toss the white chocolate in there and see what <laughs> what happens. Oh, no. Mm, yeah, that dark chocolate, chocolate crazy. Chocolate. That brought up right? more fruity notes. Mm -hmm. A little more vanilla. Mm -hmm. All right. If you all have tried Thomas S. Moore. I know they have a few finishes. Let us know which one. Let us know which one you like. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll get it, maybe not. <laughs> Feel free to send us anything you want us to try. True. We I just am... might feature it on an episode. Right. You know, sometimes I'll be blessed out here in these streets. I'm still waiting on something be that I'm hoping. all the time. I'm you still, I'm still hoping episodes, on something, but also. With the free and the free. And the, I did not buy this. Hey, also, I'm not jealous. I'll be paying for stuff too. <laughs> People just send me stuff I pay. But yes, a couple of them episodes, you know, free, free, free. Mm -hmm. I won. <laughs> and she won. <laughs> That's just the Lord blessing me. Okay? Okay? Well, don't make me break out in song. I'll sing a whole gospel song okay. right now. Anyhow, y'all let us know. <laughs> Which ones y'all like? Cheers, y'all. Cheers.